What's up guys, Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect. Uh, this episode is about fixing another problem that we have, and that is sort of a logistical problem with our programs and stuff. Now I've gone ahead and I've let this run a couple of days uh, so that I can accumulate some money. We're up to 87,000 now, which is looking pretty good. Full balance sheet is here. So exports, big exports. Just got another thousand going out in exports. Pretty good. Uh, guard wages. I'm up to 190 guards now. That includes 21 dog handlers. Uh, 190, yeah, 190 guards. Uh, includes 21 dog handlers and no armed guards in the whole prison. Which is actually, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. A lot of people are probably like, no, that's a terrible thing. You need armed guards to suppress. But, like, I've got snipers in this tower here. Uh, I've got snipers over here and here. Uh, I don't know if this can actually see down this row yet. But I do know that these prisoners have been kicking off in their cells a lot more often now. So, I, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. But I'm pretty sure they're not getting out of there with these two snipers there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, a couple of things also I need to address. Uh, the comment section of the last episode, somebody mentioned that I actually forgot to include something in episode 58. And so there was like sort of a disconnect between episode 58 and 59. So I want to address that because you're totally right. I totally did forget this. So uh, at the end of episode 58, I kind of ended by like redoing this laundry. And I made the point that said, oh, there's too many baskets in this laundry actually. Let's dump this one and uh, I'm going to leave I'm gonna leave a fourth one actually but I made a point that this laundry probably can't handle all of these prisoners by itself there's about six minutes of recording which I no longer have but there's, there's six minutes of recording that I did and um, during that six minutes of recording I actually decided that I was going to go ahead and have sort of take this canteen take this little area that was cut down in the canteen and turn it into another laundry room and so that six minutes was about this right here. And then while I was doing that, uh, the chief got on, the chief called and said that there was a, a guy on the radio making trouble again. And uh, so I had to remove all the radios. Uh, that actually has, has done now. The radio, the radio problem has been solved. It's been a couple of days. You can see the day difference between this episode and the last one. Um, there's been a couple of days. The radio thing has been sort of gotten taken care of now. So I've gone ahead and I put back the radios and I just kind of placed them in random spots around the prison. And also have placed the radios back inside these prisoners' cells as well. Um, but that, that there was a disconnect there. And I, I, I'm sorry about that. I, I think what happened is um, I went ahead and I kind of did my sign-off where I was like, see you next time, guys. And then um, right after that, something happened. There was like a fight or something. Then I went down and did my fight. And I started the recorder again. I, I stopped it and then I started the recorder again. And then I decided, you know what, let's just keep going. It's only going to take me a little bit of time. Let's expand. Then I did another sign-off, but when I edited the episode two days later, uh, I just I heard the first sign-off and just assumed that was the end of the episode. I totally forgot that I had done something else. So there you go. That's that's settled now. Okay, let's take a look down here. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Ellison, Felix Ellison has a visitor. Hold on, where's, let's put this guy in here. Come on, go in there. I want to see this guy. Uh, Scott Gordon's being carried away unconscious. He just had a fit. He decided to just destroy some things. He's in here for 913 years now. What a loser. <laughs> but Ellison has a visitor. It's his father, age 70. Okay. There you go. Now, do we have that call tapped? I feel like we should. Yeah, it is being tapped. It's being listened to right now. Okay, cool. This is the first time I've seen this booth be used. So I'm I'm happy to see that it actually works like it's supposed to. That's a good confirmation right there. That's good. Okay. I've been letting this play on a little bit. So this episode is kind of like a whole bunch of play jammed into one. I wanted to get some progress on the series and... Uh, I don't know, I, I, the last episode was what you just saw before this little snippet here. And I was going to end it there. And then I decided, you know what, there's not a whole lot of progress being made on that. 
Or maybe I didn't, maybe you didn't just see it. Maybe I just kind of let the, I don't know how I'm going to edit this. So in case I didn't show you already, <laughs> uh, here is what we're going to be doing. Um, what I did in the last episode basically boils down to this. I put some offices in and hooked them up to power and figured out how I wanted some metal detectors to go throughout this place to kind of catch them as they walk past. And that's pretty much it. The whole episode was basically that. And I was like, I don't want to... I'm not going to have... like It was 21 minutes of me just building this. I I, I don't know. So, so and I don't know if I put that in there or not. Probably didn't. But if I did, that's what happened. There you go. Now you're filled in. And I'm going to let this run a little bit more. We have, we're making 4400 a day. Take a look at our cash flow. Most of our profits comes from the workshop. Uh, or most of the reason why we're operating in a profit comes from the workshop as well as early prisoner releases, which have really been helping us out. I just took intake of another 27 prisoners, but they're only the medium normal sec because I had capacity for them. So there we go. I had some capacity. I still have some capacity. I could take 15 more regulars, but I'm not going to, I don't want to sit at capacity just in case the mayor calls. Things happen when that happens. Morris is over here. Where's Morris? Right there. He's one of the de developers of the game. One of the developers of the game. He's in here for 130 years now. Yeah, it's happening. So, I'm just going to let it play on. I want to get some money. I have to progress this. I want to get some money. I want to buy this land over here. But this land costs 80 grand. And I don't want to go into debt just to buy land. Because that has absolutely no immediate returns at all. In fact, it's I'm probably going to have to spend a million bucks over here just to start making profitable, uh, making it profitable. So I do want to get a bunch of money, and I'm going to let it just kind of, just kind of play on for a while until I can make that happen. So that's going to be the way it is. All right, so much money. Look at all the money. 102,000 now. We're still building it up. It's been a couple of days. This is a really big gap here. Kind of thinking maybe we build... This is brick. Yeah, I'll put another brick one here. Why not? Kind of thinking maybe we build like... Uh, I don't know, something like this. Maybe like... This. Oh, actually, we need to build the foundation. So how about we do that? And then we put like a door, put a door maybe here, just to build another cell, you know? Look at all that money, early prisoner releases, so good, so good. I'm just letting it run. We have a, some pretty good security happening here, I mean people are doing pretty well, so not worried about it much. Uh, okay, so this cell here, I'm going to slow it down I guess. This cell here, let's put a bed here. Uh, actually, let's limit the, the range on the utilities. So put the bed on this side. Put the shower here. Put the toilet over here. So for some reason, my middle click button isn't working right now. I can't drag. I can't flip things. It's kind of getting weird on me. Uh, let's probably because I've been messing with my, my mouse for Skyrim. And now it doesn't work the same. It's thinking it's Z or something probably. That should work there. Now let's go. Uh, yeah, so this this pipe is going through here. That should already be good for the toilet. But we need to stretch this up one and stretch the hot water pipe here. One, uh, actually two. And that's all I need for that cell. So let's get that prioritized. And then we'll turn that into a cell. And we'll have it be a cell for maximum sec. Cool. A lot of false flags on the on the on the uh, tunnels. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of false flags on the tunnels. We have had a pretty good battle for control of this yard. Looks like Green's got it now. Uh, I keep <clears throat> I'm losing my voice again. This this keeps going back and forth between Green and Red. But red, like, outnumbers green. Not by much anymore. Green is catching up. They're starting to sort of ramp up their recruiting efforts. 
Blue's kind of chiming in too, but a lot of Blue's new members are in normal security. They've been taken in from uh, intake. It would make sense, taken in from intake. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of Blue's new guys were intake, and a lot of Greens came from, like, within. Came from within people who are already here. Because I haven't done any intake for Maximum yet. It's been... I haven't done anything for it maximum. I've just been taking in normal and minimum. And so a lot of blues guys are minimum. I'm kind of thinking if blue wants to have a good presence and make some money, uh, they could get like green right here, for example. Oh, this guy's released. I was trying to figure out why green had a lieutenant in here. But um, if green can get or blue can get a like a lieutenant in normal sec, that would be really helpful for them. Because then they can get organized and they can start taking away... They can start taking common rooms and the yard and things like that. Start charging money for the gang. Uh, there's virtually uncontested, really. If you take a look at gangs in this area, I mean, I guess there are a couple of reds here. But for the most part, it's kind of... I don't know. I, th I guess there's not as many blues as I thought there was. Oh, but look at this. I just realized. I don't know why. I looked at him and then I just realized it. He's released... This is Green's Lieutenant. Green's Lieutenant is out. 97% grading. He's going to be back, though. He's going to be back. But, I mean, what does that leave for Green now, then? Green has their gang leader here. They own this. And that's it. So, it's, it's like Green's last... Green leader's last um, last job, last effort, was taking that right there. And he's going to lose it. I mean, without the leader, they're not going to really contend it. So these guys are just going to evict them and be good with it. But I don't know what's going to happen with Green. Their leader's right here. <clears throat> and he's going this way for being released. That's kind of weird. Oh, and he's going to work his way around this way. Yeah, that's weird. That's pretty strange, but I'm all right with that. You can take a long walk on the outside if you want. Totally fine with that. Sean Herford. He'll be back. He will be back. I gotta say, I'm really interested to see how viable of a gang Green will be now that their lieutenant is out of the prison. I mean, what does that do for them? We got Duncan Creaser kind of hanging out in the middle of this here. Red has just overpowered, which I guess is the way it goes. <laughs> I don't know. That's just the way it turned out. We're trying to evict green here. They got everyone in here, but they just don't have enough to hold it. I got too many guards in this place. They don't. I don't. They don't have enough to hold it. So, they're going to lose it. And they don't have the organization to stop me from taking it back. Because they just don't have... They just don't have their lieutenant anymore. It's raining. Let's take a look at the clothing need. Is that going down at all? It's, it's pretty high, but it is raining right now. 218. I'd like to see that drop. I'd really like to see that go down. But I haven't seen it go down yet. $9,000 early prisoner release. There we go. That's what I like to see. All these parole rooms are really paying off. These, these five parole rooms. We have eight people eligible. So, like, we're keeping up with it. Five rooms is enough to keep up with it for quite a while. This guy is... Oh, I can't click on anything. I'm in planning mode. Oh, that's why. This guy, 2%, nice. Ellison, Paul Ellison, 97%. He's going to get a pissed and kick off pretty soon, probably. 2% for this guy, and 2% for this guy. Should have three more people making parole. This guy, not so much. He's a gang member, Paul Ellison. He's in the blue. And he's not going to make parole. But these guys should. What was, I missed this guy. What's this guy doing? Doyle. Doyle, 14%. He probably will. So that'll be another... 
That's like three grand a piece. It'll be another 12 grand right here if they get released. Which I kind of want to see if they do. 120 grand now. We're, we're getting some money. We're not gaining very fast. I know a lot of people in the comments are probably going to be like, Charlie, you're not, your money, your cash flow sucks. And it's like, yeah, I know it does. Like, I, I'd love to fix it. I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. Uh, because I need the security. There's 12 grand right there. I need the security to keep everyone in line. But if you take a look, I mean, if we look at uh, needs, it, the needs are going to be high right now. The clothing needs going to be high because it's raining. I want to see what this need is when it's not raining. Can we get it down to like this area? That's what I want to see. But, like, when it's raining, it's always going to be that way. So, uh, we'll keep an eye on see if we can get it done. Drugs is a big problem. And the people who are, like, there's quite a few people still addicted to drugs. Can we do anything about that? Programs. Let's see. Pharmacological treatment of drug addiction. I've got three programs going. Two of them are going on right now. I just don't know how well they're being reformed, you know? Like, his success chance is really small. You know? This guy. Success chance is really small. I think that's just the way it is with drug addiction. You know? They just gotta keep coming back. And if I can remove the drugs from the prison, if I can really ramp up and get that going, I need to do a shakedown. I haven't done a shakedown since, I think, day 82? 83, maybe? It's been a while. It's been almost a week. So that's probably a really bad thing. But. Yeah, we're doing a pretty good job taking care of the snitches, ex-law enforcement, all that stuff. They're hanging out up here now. That's good. They don't really have that good of a schedule. I'd like to see about getting them. Maybe getting them access to the, to the laundry so they can do some laundry. Of their own. And maybe... Uh, I, don't, I don't want them in the general population over here, though. So that's the hard, that's the only hard part. I kind of think I need to get this area going. Um, I kind of think I do. We will see. I have other people also that wants me to get to Death Row. And that is definitely coming, for sure. It's going to be... Death Row is going to be right about, like, over here. Okay? So it's going to be a really short walk for our warden and chief and everybody to kind of just walk down through here. We'll put another gate. Like I'll put a door right here. Eh, that's probably a bad idea. Yeah, let's not do that. But anyway, so I'll put like they'll they'll be able to walk through here and get out. That's fine. But we're gonna we'll have it over here. This will be uh, a big wall, and we'll have another wall that extends out that way. I have a lot of money. I probably should be building walls, but just don't. Yeah, Scott Gordon's kicking off again. Look at this. Five hours in solitary. End his punishments. There we go. Anyone else? No. Okay. So I'm just gonna let this keep playing. And uh, you know, I mean this is this is kind of like all I've been able to do before Thanksgiving, guys. This is this is my Thanksgiving, my pre-Thanksgiving uh, playthrough here. So, you know, it, I I have time for this. This is what I've had time for. And I'd like to get an episode out to you guys just to give you an update. And so that's what we're doing. Lots of money. Not so good cash flow. Uh, decent, not really wasteful on the staff. 20 workers is not bad, especially when you consider all the repairs we have to do, as well as getting things trucked to exports all the time for the ex for our uh, shops and stuff. Uh, we have 211 guards. Is that it? Is that accurate? It's just 211 guards. Wow. It says I have 189 here. Um, okay. Maybe it's counting, I think it's counting the dogs in this list, but not in this list. That's probably what it is. So the dogs are counted here. Is that how that works? I don't see any dogs in the list. Uh, no idea. Yeah, these are all dog guys. Okay. Okay. And I've actually gotten rid of a few dogs lately because they were just a little expensive and they're not really, they weren't helping me as much as they could have been and whatever. So I, I just I just noticed there was a lot of them hanging out in the dog kennels a lot, like these guys are. They're just hanging out, which is okay when their dogs are resting. But I had a few where their dogs were not resting. So now I've gotten rid of a few dogs. I think we're a little bit more efficient. 
Maybe not effective. Maybe not as effective, but efficient. Uh, I also got fired a couple of cooks because I think we had a little bit too many. And then I also fired uh, a few janitors because, I uh, again, I noticed they're just hanging out in storage. Like a lot of them. All, all the time, just hanging out in storage. So I could been like firing janitors every now and once in a while. A couple of gardeners, I think, probably can go. Uh, doctors, I'm not sure I need this many doctors either. Let's get rid of one doctor. Okay. So I'm just making things more efficient so I can make some more money, because I really need to make more money. 143,000 now, we're finally getting around to doing a shakedown, and look at all this stuff. Look at all the stuff I've been neglecting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's, let's go slow here. The board has decided to experiment with a number of cost-saving measures around across our facilities. And your prison is being included. Great. We need you to reduce the meal quantity and meal variation policies in your prison to low. So we can see what effect it has. This has on overall budgets. Crap. Okay. Well... Um, we have 143,000 right now, and I'm not making a whole lot of money, but where is it? Policy? Yeah. Right now, we're on high quantity and uh, medium variety, and we're, I mean, we're doing okay. This, this eventually gets to where it's like maybe 75, 80% fed. Uh, so if I turn this to low... That goes from $18 per prisoner per day to $2 per prisoner per day. Yeah, and it also probably causes a really bad deal, but okay. So I need to do that for 94 hours. Oh, joy. I'm sure that will make all the prisoners super happy. Random events. 22, 15, 13... I still don't see a lieutenant on Green's side. They haven't gotten another one. I think the lieutenant has to be recruited directly by the leader. And since the leader's here, I don't think he can actually recruit him. Not sure how that's going to work. Look at it. We've eliminated the weapon supply, eliminated the tool supply, virtually taken apart the luxuries and narcotic supply. We've removed everything from the prison. Like... Good luck getting what you want. Scott Gordon is in trouble again. Lockdown permanent. 913 years still. He goes probably two incidents per day. Gareth Henderson does about one per day. And Felix does about one per day. Felix just tends to destroy his room, though. Henderson and Gordon try to kill and escape. But Felix just tends to destroy things in his room. I guess that's just his own way of rebelling. But, yeah, it is what it is. That's pretty good. I think we can free up our guards now. We've got 25 available, 24 available. Kind of starting to get things searched out. There's only a few things left. This cell is being searched right now. And I'm going to let it finish. Why not? It's only 10, only 10 things left to search, right? You can search those 10 things, right? Where are those 10 things at? Over here? I don't know. There we go. Come on, one more thing. There we go. False flag? Is that what this is? Nah, we're good. Okay. 144,000. We're making eight grand a day. You know what I think I'm going to do here? You know what? I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You guys let me know what you want me to do. I have a feeling you're going to be opposed to this idea. I, I, I really, I honestly, I can't imagine being wrong on this. I probably, I might be. If I am, that's cool, but I'm pretty sure I'm wrong on this. But, I'm pretty sure I'm right about what you guys are going to think. I'm pretty sure you're going to be opposed to this. That's what I'm trying to say. It's hard to speak. So, I'm thinking that you guys are going to be opposed to me buying back 10% of my prison. Because it's 135000 to do that right now. And if I wait, it's just going to get more expensive as I expand. But, if I do it now, then I can't expand for a while. I mean, I could just let it play on and get more money. But, uh, I think, and you guys probably don't care about this. 
you guys probably want me to go over here and buy this plot of land. Am I right? I'm thinking I'm right. But I'm going to let you guys decide. What do you want? What do you think I should do? Now, what do you want me to do? What do you think I should do? Let me your thoughts. Comments down below. That's going to do it for this episode. 144000 in the bank. We have a random event that's going to make our prisoners upset, but I think we have the means to combat anything. And clothing need is dropping. 184 prisoners are now without this need being fulfilled. It's dropping a little bit. Drug supply, alcohol supply, spirituality. I don't know. We think, I think I need to get these things done too. No, everybody loves their environment. Like, even just one person in the whole prison is concerned about it. It's probably Gordon. Because he just can't stand. Let's see. None of the minimums are complaining. Uh, okay, okay. So the guy who's complaining is in normal sec. Fair enough. It's not Gordon. How is, how is Supermax doing? You know, Supermax's only concern right now is food. And it's getting close to their uh, their food time after they wake up. So that'll get taken care of. L their literacy need. Desperate for their literacy need. Should we give them a library? Ah, nah. I don't think so. Honestly, I wish these bookshelves were functional. And there's a mod that makes them functional. So maybe I'll install that mod. Maybe. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.